happy Christmas morning to you in 1990. Here we are live on station WTURK, that's WTURK, yes. And we've got a rather unique, I say unique, interview for you today. Well, I'd like you to meet my friend. Merry Christmas to you, Mr. Turkey. I believe the first name is Tom, isn't it? Well, it's nice of you to remember. Well, we're so glad you could be with us today, Tom. Now tell the, the studio audience, were you a good turkey this year? Well, I thought I was. I mean, you talk about a year of pampering and people paying attention to you. It was just quite a year. Quite a year. Uh, tell us about this uh, quite a year, uh, Tom. Well, you see, the accommodations were a little crowded, but, you know, 5,000 of us in this one building. But other than that, it was quite nice. We got three squares a day, sunflower seeds, a little bit of marigold seeds every now and then. I mean, it was it was very nice, very nice. Wow, 5,000, that's a lot of turkey. <laughs> well, you know, it's nice to be a part of a small, intimate group like that. You know, you get to know all your neighbors quite well, sometimes too well. I see, I see. Well, I'm glad they fed you well. At least they didn't tar and feather you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you get for Christmas this year, Tom? <coughs> a real surprise. It wasn't at all what I expected. Uh, well, I, I see you kind of lost your head. You know, I've lost my head on several occasions, but yours seems to be a more permanent arrangement. Uh, tell us about your adventures on the chopping block. But first of all, I'd like to say some people find humor in other people's misfortune. I'm just a real cut up. I can't help it, Tom. I'm sorry. Good. <laughs> Talk about a cut up. I'm thinking about what's coming up for me, but what was the question? I forget. Uh, the question was, tell us a little bit about your adventures on the chopping block, please. Well, actually, that's quite an archaic way of a turkey meeting its demise these days. Now they use electric prods and they just kind of zap you. Your feathers just kind of go up in a blaze of glory, you know what I mean? Oh, I, I wasn't aware of that. Uh, I wasn't either until the very last moment. <laughs> Oh boy, that's that's a hot one, Tom. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've heard it said too that turkeys are the dumbest animals alive. Now, in retrospect, would you concur with this statement? Well, I don't know. Actually, I think it's people that are the dumbest animals. Uh, why would you say that, Tom? Well, I don't know. It just seemed appropriate for the moment, considering who's interviewing a dead turkey. I resemble that comment, Tom. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, we'll wrap it up now, folks, with that. Uh, that will be it for today. Uh, thanks so much, Tom, for taking uh, time out uh, to be with us today. I believe someone's coming to pick you up. Come on, let's bring on the turkey. No, 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 no. Where's the knife? No, Get no, the knife. anything, anything, anything. No, 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 kidding, no. Kidding.